I would imagine coordinating the positions of 50 states on any issue might be a little bit difficult at times. And, and could you tell us a little bit with the wetlands area um, or uh, waters in the United States, um, whether there is generally in your practice uh, consensus on these issues or more often than not consensus or, or how that plays out day to day for you working in uh, the organizations and trying to find that balance? I would say that there are a lot of geographical boundaries in terms of philosophy. Uh, the western part of the country tends to hold pretty tightly together in a very um, states first type approach. Um, so they tend to have a lot of concerns with what EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers are doing in the wetland area. They, I don't want to say as, as a whole because every state has its own you know, site specific issues, but just as a general rule, you'll see groups like the Western Governors Association, the Western States Water Council be pretty vocal in concern with EPA possibly, and the Corps when it comes to wetlands, Army Corps, um, possibly overstepping their bounds into territory that the states believe is, is really theirs to, to govern. Um, that tends to lessen as you move towards the east, and I would say particularly in the northeast and the Pacific Northwest. Um, those states uh, tend to be more viewed as perhaps environmentally progressive in the sense that they have a lot of very open green programs, they tend to be innovative, um, maybe first out of the box, a state like California or a state like Oregon, they often are the first to try certain types of environmental programs that then kind of carry across. You see that also in Massachusetts and some of the New England states. And then I would say as you go back down through the south, you get a little bit more of that same mentality that you might have in the West, which is, you know, hunkering down and, um, and just respect the state boundaries. The one thing that states agree on is that they want to have a say in, in decision making. And the wetlands area, because there is such a heavy presence of EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers in wetlands, uh, because so few, t few states have actually assumed the wetland program to actually run it, um, the degree of interaction and, and the possibility for difference of opinion between the federal government and the state is pretty great in the wetland area. So how often do we say uniformly all states agree on a particular wetland topic? It's pretty rare. One thing that all states agree on is that the assumption issue, which I think we'll talk about, that states, um, if they so choose, should be able to easily assume the authorities under 404 of the Clean Water Act. We have an, a resolution in ECOS uh, that means all the states have agreed to that position, that if a state is interested in assuming the 404 authorities, that EPA and the Corps should facilitate that and make it happen. One area where, additional area where the states are in agreement on waters of the United States is that EPA and the Corps should be moving forward through rulemaking to set any new processes or procedures that would govern how we handle wetlands in the U.S. And as you know right now, there is a proposed rule out for comment through the fall and so all states will be engaging in filing comments. Whether we will file a common letter representing all 50 states, I think remains to be seen. I do think we will be able to put something together that raises some common concerns that the states have about um, ambiguities in the proposal. But uh, there will not be a unanimous um, hug, group <laughs> hug of the proposal, um, nor would there be a unanimous um, distaste for the proposal. It's really going to be very varied.